Hello everyone, today we want to talk about top 10 movies of Emma Thurman. Number 10, The Life Before Her Eyes, 2007. Director is Vadim Perelman. Actors and actresses are Evan Rachel Wood, Eva Amory, and Oscar Isaac. A woman survivors guilt from a Columbine like even 20 years ago causes her present day idyllic life to fall apart. This movie is incredible. The tone of the story is very well set from the get-go and visually speaking it was beautiful. IMDb score is 6.3, Meta score is 38 and Rotten Tomatoes score is 38. Is it possible that nothing changes in this town? Number 9. The House That Jack Built, 2018. Director is Lars von Trier. Actors and actresses are Matt Dillon, Bruno Ganz, and Siobhan Fallon Hogan. The story follows Jack, a highly intelligent serial killer, over the course of 12 years and depicts the murders that really develop his inner madman. Bold, fascinating and unforgettable. A rare type of film you can see nowadays. Strong characters with complex story. If you are not so sensible, you should watch it. You might as well be a serial killer. Sorry, but... Number 8. Nymphomaniac, 2013. Director Lars von Trier. Actors and actresses are Charlotte Gainsbourg, Stellan Skarsgård and Shia LaBeouf. A self-diagnosed nymphomaniac recounts her erotic experiences to the man who saved her after a beating. Maybe the best or one of the best of Lars von Trier. This movie is a gem. It widened your mind and affected you in a strange way. Your perspective of seeing things got broad and it taught you so many things. IMDb score is 6.9, Meta score is 64, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 74. Would it be alright if I show the children the whoring dead? Number 7, Beautiful Girls, 1996. Director is Ted Deme. Actors and actresses are Matt Dillon, Timothy Hutton, and Noah Emmerich. A piano player at a crossroads in his life returns home to his friends and their own problems with life and love. Much more than I expected. Truly moving and enjoyable. One of those movies you can watch over and over again. Beautiful Girls is absolutely beautiful. IMDb score is 7.1, Meta score is 64, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 80. Part of Chicago, you from? Do you know Chicago? Yeah, I, I know like Soldiers Field. Number six, Less Miserable, 1998. Director is Billy August. Actors and actresses are Liam Neeson, Jeffrey Rush, and Tim Barlow. Valjean, a former criminal, has atoned for his past and now finds himself in the midst of the French Revolution, avoiding a law-obsessed policeman hellbent on capturing him. Very emotional. Victor Hugo would be pleased. They couldn't have chosen a better cast. Oma Thurman is extremely talented, very convincing as a selfless mother. IMDb score is 7.4 and Rotten Tomatoes score is 79. What do you look after, Cosette? Cosette. Will always be safe with me. Number 5. Tape, 2001. Director is Richard Linklater. Actors and actresses are Ethan Hawke, Robert Sean Leonard. Three old high school friends meet in a Michigan motel room to dissect painful memories from their past. This is a really smart movie. It is filled with liars just like its characters and the ending adds a superb twist. IMDb score is 7.2, Meta score is 71, 
and Rotten Tomatoes score is 77. Tell me again what happened. Do you not think that something happened? Well, of course, something happened. Number four, Dangerous Liaisons, 1988. Director is Estefan Frears. Actors and actresses are Glenn Close, John Malkovich, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Keanu Reeves. A scheming widow and her manipulative ex-lover make a bet regarding the corruption of a recently married woman. This movie is elegant. The performances are magnificent. Oma Thurman is amazing with a tremendous mix of innocence and sexuality. IMDb score is 7.6, Meta score is 74, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 88. I love you so much. Number 3. Gataka, 1997. Director is Andrew Nichol. Actors and actresses are Ethan Hawke, Jude Law, and Gore Vidal. A genetically inferior man assumes the identity of a superior one in order to pursue his lifeline dream of space travel. This is so great on so many levels. The acting was perfect. The plot was so unbelievably awesome. The direction was great. The film on the whole was excellent. IMDb score is 7.8. Meta score is 64. And Rotten Tomatoes score is 85. Do you think you'd be doing what you're doing if it wasn't for who you are, what you are? Number 2. Pulp Fiction, 1994. Director is Quentin Tarantino. Actors and actresses are John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, and Bruce Willis. The lives of two mob hitmen, a boxer, a gangster, and his wife, and a pair of diner bandits intertwine in four tales of violence and redemption. This is the most original, rule-breaking film I have ever seen maybe the best of Quentin Tarantino. It's such a masterpiece for many reasons. IMDb score is 8.9, Meta score is 94, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 94. Don't you hate that? Hate what? Uncomfortable silences. Before we talk about number one, please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Number one, Kill Bill, 2003. Director is Quentin Tarantino. Actors and actresses are David Carradine, Lucy Liu, and Michael Madsen. After awakening from a four-year coma, a former assassin wreaks vengeance on the team of assassins who betrayed her. The action is mind-boggling. Oma Thurman redefines herself and every woman alive. The strong, empowered female character. IMDb score is 8.2, Meta score is 69, and Rotten Tomatoes score is 83. For a second? Yeah, I kind of did.